to show you how you can set up the sales and inventory forecast in Dynamics 365 Business Central. It's really quite easy to do, but it involves going to some other applications in order to get that to work. So let's take a look at it. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the sales inventory forecast set up in Business Central. We're going to look at the AI gallery and also the Microsoft Machine Learning Studio. So the couple things we need from those two applications to get this to work. So I'm looking at the sales and inventory forecast set up in one of my companies in BC. And what I need to do is I need to get these two fields filled in. This API URI and the API key. So to do that, what I want to do is I'm going to go to Actions here, open up the Azure AI Gallery. And this tells me exactly what I need to do. If I scroll down here a little bit, you can see it here. This is where I start using this model that comes with Microsoft Business Central. I'm going to open it up in the Azure Machine Learning Studio. I'm going to run it and then deploy the web service and copy the two keys into Business Central. So this is the information right here that we're going to do. I'm going to open up the Microsoft Machine Learning Studio. I'm going to select the region and workspace for my Business Central tenant. And it brings up this model that's all ready to go. You don't have to do anything. So what you do here is you run it down here at the bottom. I can run this model. When it's done running, I can deploy the web service. And these are the two keys I need to copy and paste into Business Central. Here's the API key. If I click on Request Response, it's going to give me the API URI right here. I can just copy and paste this into Business Central, and I'm ready to go. I've entered these two items into Business Central, and I can modify these other variables if I want to. I have different models listed here. I can scroll down and get the one that makes the most sense for me. So what are these? Here's a blog article that explains some of these methods. I'll take the link and include it in the bottom of the video. Let's now take a look at how this behaves in Business Central. I'm going to this item I have for which I've entered a lot of sales data. So if I scroll down to the right here, I can see the forecast. This is the inventory forecast based on what I have in stock and what's forecast from that forecast we just set up. I can also look at the sales forecast. And this will show the sales forecast for the next six months going forward. So this built-in functionality within Business Central gives me the ability to look at a forecast based on my historical sales and see what I need from an inventory standpoint and what to expect from a sales standpoint. It's easy to set up. I went to the sales and inventory forecast setup. I popped over to the Azure AI gallery, opened up the Microsoft Machine Learning Studio, ran it, and then deployed the web services, and copy and pasted that information in to Business Central.